It looks like a bunch of feminists blew themselves up. A bunch of feminists just blew themselves up. <laughs> you know, I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. Okay, I'm, I'm kidding about. Okay, well they didn't. They didn't die, but they did. They did cringe. It's a. It's fucking cringy. I really hate to. I hate to say this, but it's a. It's a. It's about damn time. What? Yeah, I lost my microphone, so I'm using this. Fuck off. A group of uh, far left activists, feminists in Mexico, Mexico. Mexico, Me Mex how do you say it? Oh, Mexico. Yeah, apparently a bunch of radical feminists don't know what they're doing. They have no idea how to use a bomb or a Mazel Tov cocktail. They have no fucking clue. So thousands of feminists uh, gathered uh, at, at a, a pro-abortion pro rally or whatever the fuck. I'm pretty sure it was an, a, a pro-abortion, which if you're, if you're like pro-abortion, then go fuck yourself. I'm, I'm serious. You there are some situations where, sure, yes, okay, you, you need to take, you got it, you got to do it. I'm not gonna get into those reasons, but once in a blue fucking moon, once in a one in a million, sure, go ahead, do what you have to do. But if you are pro, like, like, yes, abortions, <laughs> if you're like that, then you need to seek help immediately. I mean, I'm very pro-choice, okay? I'm pro-abstinence, I'm pro-adoption, I'm pro, uh, get, get, get on the fucking pill, I'm pro, uh, 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 how about you just be a mother? I'm just telling you my opinions. On top of it being, uh, an anti-pro-life protest, does that make sense? It's also a protest to bring awareness against the, uh, violence against women. Yeah. Apparently that's a big deal. Ain't that right, Amber? Apparently the violence against women is pretty bad. What? Oh yeah, yeah, they, they, they're violent against themselves because they're stupid. Before I get into why this protest is just stupid and pointless, I want to dive into why these feminists are fucking retarded. Yeah, I'm allowed to say retarded. That is a medical term. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Fuck you. Yes, it is. It's medical. You're retarded if you don't believe me. Retardation. I say retarded. Oh, they're retarded. I so so retarded. Yeah, it's retarded. Are you fucking retarded? Yeah, man, like, I know retards, man. Retards, man. Feminists are retarded, man. Yeah, dude. These feminists, man, they're fucking retarded, dude. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, you know, like, they're just retarded, you know? Like, feminists, man. Feminists are stupid, man. All these feminists gather at, at some place, and they, they, they make a Mazel Tov cocktail. Let me just say, you play with fire, you get burned. That, 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 I said that right. Fuck you. And today's article is brought to you by the Post Millennial. The title of the article reads, Watch, Mexico City feminists accidentally firebomb themselves in pro-abortion protest. Oh, and just by looking at that photo, this is gonna be so good. A viral video shows a protester tossing a Molotov cocktail at the president's residency, an attempt which swiftly backfired. A demonstration turned violent protest in Mexico City yesterday saw parts of the city flipped upside down by International Women's Day protesters. Are they protesting Women's Day? I don't understand. <laughs> Protesters ransacked typically calm city spaces near the Metropolitan Cathedral, as well as the National Palace, which is where Mexico's president, Andres Manuel Manuel Lopez Orbador, commonly referred to as Almo, resides. This march was organized by feminist groups and, according to the government of Mexico City, brought out over 80,000 women. Holy shit, that's, that's a lot of... That's a lot of a lot of feminists. Um, anyway, many public landmarks were vandalized, including bus stations, monuments, private property, the Hermer, 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 Hermer uh, hold on, let me, let me look this up. The Hermosillo Cathedral was also destroyed as violent protesters were seen smashing glass as churchgoers indoors used pews to blockade the doors. Are, are you, are you fucking kidding me? This is, this is, this is, this is a uh, mental illness to a whole new level. You, you want to protest? Fine, do that. Protest, wave your, your flags, sing your songs, do your kumbaya bullshit. But if you want to fucking vandalize public and personal property, 
If you want to attack a church with people who are worshiping God inside peacefully, and they have to they have to defend themselves by using their, their pews to blockade the doors, you are on some next level shit, my friends. You need help. <laughs> Now I wanted to show that video in its entirety so you can get a real idea of what the fuck kind of craziness is happening in Mexico, in America, in the UK, all over the fucking world. It needs to stop. This is, this is, this is, this is really, 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 really triggering me. See, this is something that I, as a normal person, have a right to be triggered over. I have the right to be triggered over this bullshit. And this is where justice gets sweet. Or karma, as they say. A viral video shows a protester tossing a Molotov cocktail at the president's residency at an attempt which swiftly backfired. Mexican pro-abortion feminists try to learn how to throw a bomb without much success. Now the moment we've all been waiting for? Let's check it out. 197,000 views and it was posted yesterday. Let's see. Okay, we got one. One more time. One more time. <laughs> That's what you get. That is. Oh, it's so beautiful. The fire. The fire. <laughs> the fire bomb ended up hitting, hitting a feminist group. At one point in the video, a feminist protester can be seen with her pants on fire before quickly being doused with a fire extinguisher. Tensions in Mexico remain high as the country, as the counties, as the county continues to go through social economic woes. Gender-based violence is particularly striking an issue in Mexico as uh, it's an estimated 10 women are killed in the country each day. That's it? Just 10? I mean, I'm not, that's, I mean, even, even one is too much, but 10? That's, I mean, that it's... I don't mean to sound like a fucking xenophobe racist, but I mean, it's fucking, Me it's Mexico, all right? The government has been accused of um, inaction on the issue. City officials did say that the majority of the protesters have marched peacefully. It was the masked p patrol bomb throwing radicals, officials say, that turned the situation violent. Seven people were arrested, 13 were taken to the hospital uh, in reports of the F EFE news agency. Now I just looked this up so that way I can prove why I don't really care so much about this protest of uh, women uh, protesting violence against women, you know, whatever. Um, I went to Wikipedia and I found the homicide statistics by gender. Okay, first you can see here, percentage of victim males versus percentage of victim females. So let's scroll down here, all the way to Mexico. And we can see 89% are men. 89% of the deaths, almost 90% of the deaths in Mexico, homicides, are men. You want to talk about violence against anybody? It's against men. I'm a woman and life isn't fair. It's 
just not. Woo! Oh, these shoes are these are nice shoes. I got these new uh. I can't really show you, but they're well. I can show. I can show. I got these at Ross. That's right. Fifteen bucks. Pair of pair of fucking Adidas. Yeah. But they're the most comfortable shoes I've ever had. I just. God damn it. Okay, I got the shoe back on. Now back to feminists. So I just wanted to make this kind of a short video. I wanted to call out some of the crazy people in this world. I'm out of breath, fuck. So since you all know how I feel about radical feminists, I felt like it would be my duty. It's, yeah, it's my, it's my fucking duty to let you know about this, <laughs> this, this story. I just, I love it. I fucking love it. It's so funny. It's like, I told, I told you so. I told you, I told you women should not be in charge of fucking bombs and shit. And that about wraps up the, uh, the, uh, hmm. And, and, and that about wraps up today's episode of Darth News. I'll be back actually a little bit later with another episode. One more. Uh, also, tomorrow, um, I will be introducing the new co-hosts of the show. Yay! New co-hosts! There's two of them. I think I like, I want to, I want to reveal the names as well. I'll reveal, I'll reveal the names tomorrow. They will be, re they will be replacing, uh, Baby Jack for now. Um, so I'm very excited to introduce you to my new co-hosts. And, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to stick around. So if you like the content, give it a thumbs up a -roo. If you disliked it, give it a stink a -roo. I don't give a fuck. Either way, it's just a bunch of clicks. Hey, if you really like my content, let me know why in the, in the, in the comment section below. How do you feel about these feminists? Am I just a sexist, or, or am I, uh, am I on to something? Am I, am I on to something here with this story? I, I could be, I don't know. What, what, what's, what's happening right now? So please let me know your thoughts below. I want to hear your thoughts about the video. What do you think about feminists? I mean, I like feminists, but what do you feel about radical feminists? Is there, I'm pretty sure there's only radical feminists left. And if you really want to wash my dishes and paint my nails, go ahead and hit that notification bell right now. I want to hear that bell go bing.